Alright, here we have a scenario. RE takes out a loan of $360,000. The loan is to be repaid in equal monthly repayments at the end of each month over 25 years or 300 months. Reducible interest is charged at 6% per annum, calculated monthly. Let uh, AN be the amount owing after the nth repayment. And the first question is write down an expression for the amount owing after two months. Okay, before we begin, I'm going to let P, the principal, equal the $360,000 that Ari has loaned out and uh, the interest which I'll denote with a small i not to be confused with imaginary numbers is 6% uh, per annum but I want it in per month so I have to divide this by 12 and this works out to be 0.5% per month or expressed as a decimal it is 0.005 okay after one month so A1 the amount owing would be the principal plus the principal has increased by uh, the interest rate so plus P times I and then we have to subtract now a monthly payment so after the first month, the amount owing would be P outside of 1 plus I minus M. Now after two months, the same pattern repeats, but instead of P, we use the amount that's owing after month one. So the amount is going to increase by uh, the interest rate, so A1 plus A1 times the interest minus, again, the monthly payment. So we'll have A1, sorry, A1 outside of 1 plus I minus M. And if we now substitute the expression for A1 in, we'll get P outside of 1 plus I minus M. And that all has to be multiplied by 1 plus I minus M. So if we now then simplify this equation, we'll get uh, P1 plus I squared, then minus M times 1 plus I. So I've expanded the 1 plus I in. Then minus M. And if I collect the like terms of the M, I'll get P outside of 1 plus I squared minus M. What we have remaining is 1 plus I plus 1. So in fact, this will be equal to the principal, again, outside of 1 plus I squared minus M outside of 2 plus I. And then if I was to substitute the uh, values in, so we have 360,000, uh, 1 plus i would simply be equal to 1.005 squared minus m, which we have to work out, and then plus 2, uh, sorry, times 2 plus i equals 2.005. The second question is, show that the monthly repayment is approximately $2,319.50. In part one, we wrote that the amount after two months is equal to the amount after one month times one plus the interest rate minus the monthly payment. And this, if we expand it out, would be the principal times the 1 plus the interest rate minus the monthly payment so that's the amount after one month then times the uh, times 1 plus the interest rate again minus another monthly payment and if we continue this pattern 
So A3, I'll just do it once more. We'll have A2 times 1 plus I minus M, which equals, I'll use a double square bracket, P outside of 1 plus I minus M times 1 plus I minus M. And this whole thing again is multiplied by 1 plus i minus m. And this pattern continues until we get to A300, so after 25 years. Now if I was to actually expand all of these 1 plus i's into uh, each nested bracket, what I'll end up with is and I'll write down the expression for a n. So just generally, what will happen is we've got p outside of 1 plus i to the power of n minus the monthly repayment m times 1 plus i to the power of negative, sorry, to the power of n minus 1 minus m outside of 1 plus i to the power of n minus 2 minus m outside of i plus 1 or 1 plus i to the power of n minus 3 and uh, then minus until we get m on its own. So now simplifying this I can write p outside of 1 plus i to the power of n minus m, so a factor out of minus m, and inside the brackets I'll be left with, um, if I go right from the end and go backwards, I'll get uh, 1 plus 1 plus i to the power of 1 plus 1 plus i to the power of 2 plus 1 plus i to the power of 3, and then plus dot 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 until I get 1 plus i to the power of n minus 1. And this term inside here, inside of the square brackets, is a geometric series. And we can express this whole sum as, so the sum of n terms, Sn, is equal to 1 plus i to the power of n minus 1 divided by 1 plus i minus 1. So the amount owing after n months is then p outside of 1 plus i to the power of n minus the monthly payment m times 1 plus i to the power of n minus 1 divided by i. Now at the end of 300 months, the amount owing is equal to zero because we've paid all of the money back. So what we do to find the monthly payment is just to solve this equation for M. So I can write M outside of 1 plus I to the n minus 1 all over i is now equal to the pr uh, principal times 1 plus i to the power of n and thus then m is simply equal to p outside of 1 plus i to the power of n divided by 1 plus i to the n minus 1 over i. And this I can rewrite as, so I can bring the i to the top and I'll get p times i outside of 1 plus i to the nth term and then divide that by 1 plus i to the power of n minus 1. Okay, so now that we've got an expression we can substitute some numbers in 
So the monthly payment M is equal to the principal, $360,000, times the monthly interest rate, 0 0.05, 0 0.005, times 1 plus I is 1.005, N is 300 months, divide that by 1 plus 0, 1.005, to the power of 300 minus 1. And if we plug that into a calculator, we should find that it is equal to $2,319 and uh, roughly 49 cents. And that's of course roughly equal to 2319.50. So the third part, after how many months will the amount owing become less than 180 thousand dollars. Well we found out in the previous part that uh, the amount owing after n months is equal to the principal times the uh, 1 plus i to the power of n minus m outside of 1 plus i to the power of n minus 1 divided by i. And uh, let's set that equal to $180,000 to see how many months it will take us to get there. So this is the equation that we have to solve for n. And there will be a bit of manipulation in the next following steps, so bear with me. So the idea is we want to get all of the n's on one side, so on the left-hand side, and everything else on the other side. So I'm going to first of all multiply this m into the brackets here. So we'll get uh, p1 plus i to the power of n is equal to plus m minus 1 plus i to the power of n divided by i. So the negative and the negative become a positive, and I'll just put that at the front. And uh, there should be an m here as well. Now I want to make a common denominator between the first and the second term, so I'll multiply the top and bottom both by i. That means now I can write the whole thing on one line. And uh, now what I can do is to take this i across to the other side. So that will eliminate the i on the bottom. Okay, a common factor here is this 1 plus i to the power of n. So if I factor these out, I will get 1 plus i to the power of n outside of p times i minus m. And then remaining is the plus m and, uh, and that's equal to 180,000 times the interest. I can take this m to the other side, so that will be a, become a minus m on the right hand side, and then it will get eliminated on the left hand side. And finally, I can divide now both sides by pi minus m. So that will, in effect, eliminate this term on the left hand side and give me 180,000 times the interest minus m divided by p times i minus m on the right hand side. Now to get n by itself, if I take the log, so log of base 10 of both sides, This means I can then bring this n to the front. So that will, I can rewrite that as n times log of i, uh, n times log of 1 plus i, and then 
to get n on its own, I simply then divide both sides by log of 1 plus i. So n is then equal to log of 180 thousand times the interest minus the monthly payment divided by the principal times the interest minus monthly payment all over log of 1 plus the interest. So, okay, so that's quite complex. Now we have an expression though, at least where we can substitute in all of the values to figure out how many months it will take to reach $180,000. So log then of 180,000 times the interest which is 0 0.005 minus the monthly payment of $2,319.50 divided by 360,000 times the monthly interest uh, sorry, times the yeah, monthly interest rate minus the monthly payment of 2319.50 divided by the log of 1 plus i is equal to 1.005. So if we plug that into a calculator, we should get about 201.54 months. That's the number required to reach $180,000 in debt. So if we round that up to, say, 202 months, we should be less than $180,000 owing. Alright, so I hope this video has helped you better understand how interest and monthly repayments are calculated. If you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Good luck and I'll see you on the next video. If you are currently studying math, please feel free to subscribe to my channel for future videos that may help you on exams or assignments. And as always, please feel free to ask me any question by commenting on any of the videos that you've seen. Thanks for watching and I hope you've learned something.